Hello, today we're going to be talking about the Brother Skitch Embroidery Machine. This is an embroidery machine that requires an Artspira app in order to be able to use the machine. The Artspira app is free, however, you have limited use of the app without having a monthly subscription, which costs $12.99 per month. We are going to look at the infomercials so that we can find out who this machine is being marketed to. Then we're going to discuss the features of the machine. And last but not least, we are going to dive into talking about the pros and cons of owning the Skitch Embroidery Machine. So without further ado, let's get into it. This infomercial provides a lot of information about what audience brother is trying to target. So let's take a brief look at it. Fair use. We have hip hop music, bright colors, and young ladies. So I would assume this machine is targeted towards young ladies. On the screen that we're on now, it says upcycle. And I have noticed in the past few years that a lot of young people do like to go to thrift stores, hack up the clothes and turn it into something new. On the homepage of the brother website, it says add some new life to something old and add custom embroidery designs to ready-made clothes or even vintage apparel and show off your own personal style with Skitch single needle embroidery machine. So they are trying to target that person who goes to the thrift store and tries to make something new out of something old. I'm not so sure that this will really work well for them though, because the Skitch embroidery machine is subscription based and a lot of people who thrift are not into spending money, they're actually into saving it. Let's go and take a look at another infomercial and we will be stopping it periodically to talk about the features of the machine. Fair use. Already we see PP1, which implies that Brother plans on coming out with more machines in the future. However, I think that Brother needs to slow its roll with this whole idea because they have not proven the concept of forcing people to purchase a subscription plan in order to have full use of a machine that they purchase with their hard earned money. So we just saw the magnetic hoop for the machine and I think this is great because it makes it so much easier to hoop your designs without having to manually hoop and then tighten up that little screw. I also see the Artspira app and the built-in designs. If you have the free version of the app, then you only have access to 500 ready-made embroidered designs, plus limited access to a magazine that has projects inside of it. If you buy the paid subscription, you get 7,000 ready-made embroidered designs, plus unlimited access to the magazine. It must be noted that all designs can be used commercially unless otherwise stated. And this is wonderful because in the past, all of Brothers pre-made designs were not able to be used for commercial use. She is pressing a Bluetooth button and this is yet another barrier to using the Skitch embroidery machine because first you need an app in order to even be able to use the machine and in order to have access to the app, you need the internet. Then you need Bluetooth in order to connect the app to the embroidery machine itself. And we all know how Bluetooth acts. Sometimes Bluetooth decides that it wants to drop. And what if the Bluetooth dropped in the middle of completing a project? What would you do then? Because there are no USB ports for connecting wired. So we do have a semi-automatic needle threader on this machine and it appears to be the same one that was used on previous models of the 4x4 machines. This one works really, really well and I think that users will like it. Guys, look at that stitching speed. The stitching speed is 400 stitches per minute. That is okay for a hobbyist. 
but it's not going to cut it if you are in business. I have to stop right here because there's something very important to recognize. Inside of the Art Spira app, they allow you to take images from your phone or your tablet and automatically convert them to a file that can be used on the embroidery machine. If you don't buy the Art Spira subscription plan, then you're only able to make line art which is what you see on the far left there with that cherry that is just a black outline. However, if you do purchase the monthly subscription plan, then you're able to actually fill in that cherry and make it a full whole design. Also, that image on the far right is also what you're able to do with the, play, with the paid subscription. So this is just a great visual to show you the differences between paid and unpaid. I also wanted to stop here because there's something else important to recognize. Art Spira allows you to import an image as a background and then draw over top of that background to create an image. However, you have limited use of the tools if you do not pay for the paid subscription. With the unpaid version, you get 35 drawing tool templates, but with the paid version, you get 125 also, they have something called design templates and the design templates allow you to take an image and add text to it. If you have the free version, you get 11 of those. And if you have the paid version, you get 111. One other thing, you get 10 embroidery fonts on the free version and 30 on the paid. Both of those are very low numbers for fonts because I know I have hundreds of fonts saved in my machine that I use for various clients and 30 fonts would not be enough. And I know as a hobbyist too, 30 fonts is very little. That is it for the commercial. However, I did find two very important facts inside of the specifications. One, you cannot import any pre-made embroidery files without a paid subscription. And this is really serious because the Skitch embroidery machine does not have a USB port. So you are required to import all of your files into Artspira in order to be able to stitch them out. So this would severely limit your access to your own embroidery machine if you did not have a subscription. Also, you have limited access to the cloud without the paid subscription. You get 20 spaces to save designs on the free version and 100 on the paid. I even think that 100 spaces is not enough storage space because once you hit that 100 designs, you have to start deleting designs in order to be able to save something new. And this is insane to me because I am a person who likes to keep all of my created designs because I like to refer back to them and reuse them. But you can't do this on this machine because the Artspira app does not allow you to export any files. So you can't export your files and take them off the cloud and then have them stored so that you can have that space to create new designs. And this is a serious problem. There's nothing else in the specifications that are of interest, but there are some things of interest inside of the manual. So let's go and take a look at that. 
It is extremely, extremely important to read your manual before you purchase a machine because it can be very telling. On page four, I see a little glimpses of something there. Uh, for users in countries except for European countries, this appliance is not intended for use by persons, including children, with reduced physical, sensory, or mental capabilities or lack of experience and knowledge unless they have been given instruction or supervision concerning use of the appliance by a person responsible for their safety. However, when you go down here to the European countries, this appliance can be used by children age from eight years and above. And it basically says the same thing, but it specifies age eight. So this is intended for a younger audience, of course, because they have put that language in there. Now let's skip down to page eight. On page eight, section 4.1, it says companies shall not be liable to you, its end users or any other entity for an, any loss of profits or incomes or savings, loss of data, interruption of use or consequential, incidental, special, punitive or indirect damages incurred by such party, whether in an action in contract or tort, even if company has been advised of the possibility of such damages arising out of or relating to the software support service or this agreement these limitations shall apply to the maximum extent allowed by applicable law notwithstanding any failure of essential purpose of any limited remedy so they are not responsible say for example if the software crashes and you're not able to get your embroidery jobs done then they are not responsible for that and this is some crazy legal language that doesn't exist in an embroidery machine where you're not relying on an app in order to be able to use the machine so that's just something to think about also we have page nine section six it says company reserves the right at its sole discretion and with or without notice to you to add or remove features or functions to or from the software or to provide programming fixes enhancements updates and upgrades to the software collectively updates you agree that company has no obligation to provide you with updates or to make available to you any subsequent versions of the software you also agree that you may in company's sole discretion be required to enter into a modified version of this agreement if you want to use an an updates okay so we don't know how long the software will actually work with the machine because what if they discontinue the updates on the machine on the software um, and your machine becomes obsolete then your machine basically becomes a paperweight and they have no liability for that in this particular clause now let's get out of the legal language there's a lot more legalese here um, let's go on down here and look at the actual machine itself there was only one thing that i found in the manual quite interesting about the machine itself and that is that there are no carrying handles and there's this little groove here and one on the bottom that they expect you to put your fingers in in order to lift this machine and if this machine is meant for younger people and a younger audience i really do not see how they would carry this machine safely without dropping it on the ground. I really do think that the machine does need a carry handle in the future, but I know that they were trying to go with a more sleek design. So that's really all that I have to say about this manual. So let's talk about the warranty. You get a one year warranty from the original purchase date for parts, labor and accompanying accessory items two years from the original purchase date for electronic components and printed circuit boards replacement labor is excluded you get 25 years from the original purchase date for the chassis and casting and we all know that the chassis and casting is pretty much never going to go out however the circuit board and the electronic components could go out but it might last you longer who knows 
but it is kind of crazy that they do want you to pay for the labor regardless of how long you've had it. So that is just something to think about. Brother's Skits comes with a quick reference guide, scissors, a cleaning brush, a seam ripper, needle set, two pre-round bobbins, a dish-shaped screwdriver, and spool pressers, which are needed for holding your spool in place. You also get one magnetic frame, an electrical cord, embroidery thread in black, felt, and backing material. The one thing on here that I see that it does not come with is a dust cover, and you need a dust cover in order to protect your machine from dust and debris. However, I do see that they have included some things in the package that they normally don't include in their embroidery machines, and that is the thread in black, the felt, and the backing material, and also they included the needles, which I think is really great. Let's talk about the pros and cons of this machine. I'm going to start out with the cons and they are in no particular order. First, you have no carrying handles on the machine. And this is a problem because it's designed for younger people and they are kind of accident prone. And without a carrying handle, it's going to be hard to not have a mishap. Also, there is a tension dial on the front of the machine, but that tension dial has no numbers on it. So you're really going to have to take a shot in the dark as to where to set the tension when you are trying to adjust it for using lightweight materials versus heavyweight materials. You need the Art Spira app in order to be able to use the machine. And the Art Spira app, of course, is going to have to require you to have access to the internet. And the internet is not always available to everyone at all times, especially if you live out in the country, you may have dropped service from time to time. So this means that you would not be able to use your embroidery machine during those times. Likewise, you have to connect the Artspira app to your embroidery machine via Bluetooth in order to be able to use it. Even the best Bluetooth connections out there drop at some time or another. And this machine offers you no other way to be able to connect your Art Spirit app to your embroidery machine. And this is a major downside. The biggest problem with this machine is the monthly subscription model. I know a lot of young people are accustomed to using a subscription plan because they don't know any better. You will own nothing and be happy, correct? However, it's not the young people who will actually be paying for this. It will be their parents who are currently struggling because of the economic downturn and the rise in cost of rent and the rise in cost in food and everything else. I do not see how the average person would be able to afford a $13 per month monthly subscription in order to use a $500 machine that they pay their hard earned money for. This really pisses me off that the company would do this to people because you cannot even upload your pre-owned designs into the software without paying for the monthly subscription. And this is just a ripoff and it should be illegal for companies to do things like this because you can't even use the machine that you bought without having a monthly subscription in order to be able to use it. So it's like you don't even own your own embroidery machine and it is insane. On top of that, you get limited font usage with the app and you also get limited cloud storage. So it is like a double whammy. While I am fired up about this, let's go ahead and talk about the good things about the machine. It does have the magnetic hoops and I think that that's really good because it's for a younger person. So they're gonna have an easier time with hooping their designs and that sort of thing. You also get a ton of ready-made designs available to you, especially if you get the paid subscription. So a lot of young people will enjoy stitching out things that are already ready-made that they don't have to think about. You're also able to upload and convert designs to embroidery files without having the learning curve of having to learn how to digitize. And I think this is really good. All of the designs are available for commercial use. So, a younger person could, in fact, get this machine, stitch out a bunch of things and sell them to their friends and make a little bit of money. So it is really good for that reason. I do like that the machine has a free arm and that the actual embroidery part is on the inside of the machine instead of the outside so that you can easily put hard to hoop things 
inside of the machine and stitch them out. Like you could place a bag on the machine and stitch it out without a problem. And that is really, really good. I like that the actual app is separate from the machine. Um, this means that a lot of your computer components are actually in your own device instead of being inside of the machine. From a service perspective, this is really good because if your phone dies or if your tablet dies, you can always go out and buy another tablet and install the app onto your tablet or your phone and not have to worry about buying an entirely new embroidery machine. I really do wish that a lot of regular sewing machines had this function because you could still use the machine even if the computer functions died. So I like that. Last but not least, this machine has a beautiful aesthetic to it. It looks really, really good and real sleek. They did a good job on that. So I really do hope that you enjoyed this video and everything that I've had to say about the Brother Skitch embroidery machine. If you have not already, please do subscribe and tap that notification bell to receive updates. And what say you? Would you purchase this machine for yourself or for a young person in your life? Please let me know down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to receive more sewing related content. Peace.